Today on Blog Success Journal, how to start a blog, step two, get a web hosting account for your blog. Now, we're gonna be talking about free web hosts and paid web hosts and the advantages and disadvantages of both. Okay, free web hosts, obviously they're free. You know, like blogger.com, right? What's yeah, another blogger, one? Blogger, WordPress.com, WordPress they're All free, which free. seems good. Sounds good in theory, but there are significant disadvantages. One of those is you don't own the domain. You're following someone else's rules, and if you accidentally violate the terms of service, you know, that's way down in the fine print, they can actually boot you off of there. And one day you may wake up and your blog is just gone. That's actually happened to us back in the beginning when we first got it started. We mm -hmm. had a free blogging account. Woke up one day, it's gone. It's gone. All, all the work of our content done, was gone. Everything just all gone. gone. All gone. And you can't call and say, I paid for this, because no, you didn't pay for nothing. You got no support. You got no nothing. No support. Nothing. Exactly. So obviously, we're not fans of free web hosting. And, and, and other ones like WordPress.com, the free WordPress hosting one you can't have any affiliate links on it. So, you know, while it may sound good, don't be cheap on this stuff, it, it can backfire. Yeah, unless you're gonna keep a running diary and you don't really care about it, don't it's go with a free a lot. It's not worth the you hassle. You can get paid web hosting so cheap these days. Totally, totally. Now, paid web hosts, they're really cheap. The trick is to go with a decent, solid, reliable one, but they're really cheap. We're talking like seven bucks a month. Mm -hmm. if, if, you're worth, if, if your work and your effort is worth anything, it's really the way to go. You don't need a hundred dollar a month web host but at least something that you can say, yeah, I'm paying for this, and damn it, I want to have a support number if something's not working, and they're gonna say, oh, cool, we'll fix that for you. Yeah, you know, absolutely. With cool, simple, responsive support. Make sure it supports WordPress, ideally with a one-click simple install. Very important. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out by now, we recommend HostGator. We love HostGator, we've dealt with them for years. Um, they're just awesome people to work with, their support team is awesome, and they're competitively priced, okay? They offer unlimited disk space and bandwidth, and the one-click install he was talking about, you get it. Plus, one thing they offer that a lot of the cheaper, less expensive web hosts don't offer is you can pay month to month. A lot of them to get that three, four, five, seven dollar a month rate, you have to pay 12 months in advance. With yeah. HostGator, that's not true. Just yeah. one month at a time. The, the other reliable, solid ones, you gotta buy a year ahead of time, and you really wanna do that. No, you wanna go month to month, see how it is, feel it out, right? And you know what? The other day, my mom actually needed a web host, and guess where we sent her? Like we said, I sent her to blogsuccessjournal.com slash HostGator, and she got her blog started for a penny too because it works, it's good, and you know you got a problem, you email the support folks, 10 minutes, they get back to you. At least that's always been our experience. Mm -hmm. So that's just the way you wanna do it. Now, we have a question for you. What do you like better, free or paid web hosts? Leave a comment, we wanna know. Tell us why. Yeah, tell us why, that's important.